Hi, I'm Ralph. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we are talking about biscuits, two ingredient biscuits. This video should not take very long because there's only two ingredients. But don't let that fool you. These two ingredients are gonna come out tasting really good when they come out of the oven. So let's get started. First, you're gonna to wanna to use self-rising flour. Not all-purpose flour, not you know double O flour, uh, you want self-rising flour. We're going to get two cups in here. I'm going to go ahead and sift those because we don't want any lumps in them. And a second cup. Now you don't want to be packing that flour down, but you do want to make sure it's a level cup. Simple. Okay, next. That was two cups of self-rising flour. Does not matter what brand it is. And I have two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now I know a lot of the recipes call for one and a half cups. This is my first time trying two cups, but I did see somebody else on the internet doing two cups and it looked like it came out really nice. So I figured, what the heck, let's give it a shot. Next, we just need to mix it all together. Now this is going to make a very sticky dough, so expect that. Make sure you're getting everything that's underneath. When you first start out, it looks very liquidy, but as you can see, it's taking shape quite nicely. And it doesn't take very long to get to this stage. Now, I'm going to go ahead Add a little bit more flour so that we can get to kneading here. And a little bit more on top for when I grab it. Okay. Make sure I've got everything coming out of this bowl. That good and smooth out a little bit on the hands. Once you have flour all over the dough, it becomes a whole lot easier to work with. Now you're just going to be kind of kneading it a little bit, folding it over a few times. Now you could use a rolling pan for this, but you don't have to. I think today I'm just going to use my hands. Gonna get ready to start cutting some of these out. You're gonna to want to get it to about oh half an inch or so. Now I preheated the oven to about 450 degrees. Now I'm using a baking sheet with uh, parchment paper on it. If you use any kind of baking dish, like one of those uh, Pyrex dishes or something like that, you're going to want to be sure it's well greased. Now, once you get to this point, you just gather all back up into a ball. Knead it a little bit more. Flatten it out. and keep on going.
I think this last one, I'm just going to go ahead and form up by hand. Just so that we don't waste any of the dough. It won't be quite as pretty as the others, but it's going to taste just as good. I'll just wash my hands here real quick, and we will get these into the oven. I'm going to be putting them into the oven for about 15 minutes, depending on how your oven runs. It might take as long as 20, but generally it only takes me about 15 minutes with mine. Um, putting them close together, it's okay. If they, they touch each other, they don't have to be separated. It's not like when you do cookies and you want them all separated. Uh, so these are just really easy to work with. So into the oven. See you in 15 minutes. We're back. They look like they turned out great. And I've got them a couple different ways here. I got them just by themselves. Got them with a little butter here. And also slathered a little bit of sausage gravy on them. Check that out from a couple of different angles here. But first, let's try one just plain. That's very good. If you can tell, it's very flaky. Try one with butter. Mm. These are heavenly, y'all. You're gonna love these. And with a little bit of sausage gravy. Sausage gravy will be for another show. Mm. This would make such an awesome breakfast. It really would. Folks, if you like the show, hit the like button. Got directions down below, but it's basically only two ingredients. Kind of hard to screw up. 450 degrees. And if you kind of feel the need to subscribe, I'd really like to encourage that. So until the next time, Bye-bye.